Dan, as of right this moment, both officially not employees of Sirius XM. We both had to sign guest release forms. This is like if two guests just started hosting a show. This is a two-step process. First, Jacob was like, I don't know if your badge is going to work tomorrow, which that stuck with me all night, where I'm like, oh man, I'm going to get clipped at the thighs by the security bar, and then then all the lovely black women that love me in the lobby are going to then be like, get out of here. You're not supposed to be here anymore. Yeah. And then uh, he goes, I don't give me back my call. <laughs> Spit it into my hand. But they uh Jacob dressed like a little important person today in case yeah. he had to meet a big person today. <laughs> yeah. In case he had to do a, uh, an interview with a big person. Dude, Jacob's motif is bring your son to work day. Yeah. Where he goes, Now buddy, you gotta dress up if you're coming to work with me. It's okay. There's a piece of under his shirt you can't see there's a piece of yarn around his neck with a little thing that has his address on it. <laughs> <laughs> In case he gets lost at the science center. <laughs> Sir, oh my God. <laughs> are you picking somebody up from the airport? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not rock and roll like you. You are rock you. and roll, Jacob. That's the thing. That's the new rock this and roll. This is Danny Zuko going jock on us, man. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> this, is new this isn't Jacob. This is Jake. Yeah, this is Jake right here. This Jake showed Sandy. up. Jake from State Farm. <laughs> I wanted to dress nice today to make myself feel a little better, but it bombed. No, oh. it didn't bomb, dude. It no, made no, us laugh. No, no, internally, not to you two. Made us laugh. I'm saying it didn't. Generally, I was bu- I was a little bummed. Dude. No, you look, like, There's... you look a little like a little important guy. Yeah, you could. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You could meet a seven year old woman on the track with that. <laughs> this is the outfit you fall in love with a girl midget in. Yeah, he's gonna come back and he's like, guys, this is Estelle. She lives out in Flushing, Queens. This is a good outfit. It is. It is. It is a good outfit. But how fun. Jacob, are you upset that we've been making fun of your clothes? No. You're in your no, head no, about no, it. You look no. sharp lately. You have not looked very all. nice. I've never seen that before. Jacob's upped his I made, that super, I made that super sick uh, Rachel Dolezal's black joke, and I looked over, and the whole room was looking at her age like this. Can I tell you? I had that same joke in my head, but I I, I didn't say it. Damn. And I don't know why. But that's why you're Damn. Big Jay Ogerson. and you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go for it. <laughs> I go for you it. Say the I look to you, stuff. and you just fly. Well, I got nothing to lose, so baby, baby, I go for it. <laughs> go <laughs> for it. it. Oh my God! Why didn't we start off? I mean, "Sober" was the best song to start off with, but I'm gonna need some Ascension Millennium. Yeah, Ascension I'm Millennium, gonna need. Really? If, if you think I'm going through my final show without some fell dog, not a majority of the show has to be fell dog. I don't know. To me, my new favorite thing, and I'll watch it over and over, is people filming him. Biffing on the, you know, he starts his concert now with a harmonica solo, and he doesn't know how to play the harmonica. Yeah, he just goes. <laughs> it's, I'm it gonna be, I'm gonna start following Feldog like like a deadhead now that I don't have a job. Oh, dude, you can you can be our uh, on scene reporter. I go, Jay. I am embedded. I'm the first male angel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting fitted for my wings as we speak. I mean, dude. I mean, Corey's coming. Corey's coming. Corey's coming. I'm gonna call you back. It's like watching a child play the harmonica for the first time. I love it. It's my favorite. No, you got to go. You got to bring the intro when he because it doesn't look he's going to do that. He turns around. It sure does. He's dressed, he's dressed like a uh, uh, fucking uh, I don't know what the hell he's dressed. Gay M Bison or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, he. What I like about his style is he is evolving the way MJ yeah. did along the same path MJ did. <laughs> Because he used to do the leather jacket, one glove, mm-hmm. classic MJ. Now he's hit the gay colonel stage. Oh, yeah. Where he wears a giant hat, bedazzled. A bedazzled hat. And then. <laughs> yeah, it's the kind of a similar style of dance because we grew up dancing together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, so that's clearly that's the answer. <laughs> that is Please, so it's wild. It's rational. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's a similar style Obviously. of dance. I signed that comic oh, because I watched what he did and took it. <laughs> right. Um,. But yeah, please. The harmonica is my. This is when he turns around. This is it. <laughs> now, twenty fifteen seconds. Uh, first quote, Tommy. The day the music died. I mean, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> As wrote, Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> and then Dixie says, uh, "Dixie Normus." Uh, who I think I know. They comment on my things too. Uh, I bet he's better at the skin flute. All right. Well. <laughs> Okay, he, can you find, can you find the <laughs> intro oh. where he comes out? Yes, because it's it's the build up is great when he turns around and just starts <laughs> squeeze, squash, <laughs> and does someone have the full intro? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. By the way, he just makes her walk around stage before the show starts. Weird. When they play the long video that yeah. they're playing in the background, she has to just kind of watch it. We got to go this tour. <laughs> we saw the show at the sea. 
No, but I'm, he's grown, obviously. He's no, you're wrong. This would be good, too. Now with the guys who are not enjoying playing behind him, <laughs> it's got to be really funny in its own right. I should probably tell you guys this just to get it out of the way. Corey Feldman and I are doing a podcast. <laughs> it's called The Comeback Kings. Uh, you can download it on Spotify. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Dog and the Frog. <laughs> the Dog and the Frog, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, people, people, are booing. people are already mad. Dude, I love its South Park style animation. Oh, if they were geniuses, they would have done this for them. They, uh, the band has to come out with these banners that mean nothing. Guy goes, dude, I'm just getting enough for a fix. Look how, oh, man, they, don't, they do not enjoy what they have to do. Oh. I love the guy that's dressed like Amazing Jonathan. <laughs> he's got the headband, and then he brings he it up. The guitarist, yeah. Oh, and he takes it. He's got his own flag, because why wouldn't he? Does he have the hoodie, Colonel yes, Hat combo? He's got the yes. He's going Super. Assassin's Creed and uh, Commodore. That's Super. Corey's Peace Army. Looks like Marilyn Mussolini. <laughs> Here it is. He's like, oops. I forgot to take a sip of my water. <laughs> Here's the thing about Corey Feldman that I respect. In his head, he's fucking killing. Yeah. In his head, he's like... He's in oh, the pocket. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, we'll, we'll take it for a walk down here. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> and he's playing it back up. And he's like, I'm going to bring it back over here. Give it a real good listen because I promise you, play it, pick another video. It's not going to be the same because he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to say. He knows he has to go. He, plays, huh, yeah. huh, 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 <laughs> huh. he knows he has to do that. <laughs> he's like, squank, squeak, squat, scoop, squeak, 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 Do we still have one of John Popper's harmonicas in the office? Does anyone have one? Because for you to play with Corey, play along with Corey Feldman at home. Easy peasy. I know. I just want to see. Let's see another intro. Uh, I want to see another him on one of the like the TikTok that you had up. What the hell? Hey, well we have a second. Yeah. Dan Soder, it's the Feld dog, Corey Feldman. Everyone says you are a sweetheart who is endlessly yeah. talented. Here That's true, man. You're a robot. I hope we can someday become friends. Good luck in your new adventures. Oh. And remember, never allow yourself to be sodomized. Yeah, dude. That's you're fake. That's AI. I don't think so. Are you guys stupid? It's AI. Don't let the robots trick you. I don't know. Maybe he's coming around. No, there's zero chance. Really? I think it's real. I'm going to meet him on the top of True a building. True story? Lou on a rainy night. Like, Are you telling me Lou's lying? Because he told me he had a catch yesterday on City Field with uh, Brett, Brett Michaels, Michael? and then Corey <laughs> Feldman came out and said he would record that for you. He goes, wow, you guys are playing catch, and I was just going to throw it around myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, turn, quick, turn two. <laughs> I, <was gonna> have... <laughs> I still got that sidearm. Randy Johnson. <laughs> Zing. Oh, man. Please, let's That's see. his reference. Yeah. Randy Johnson. You're right. Absolutely different. It's just the same. By the way, he's also bobbing his feet like out of time. It's like Steve Martin and the Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's doing the wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got it. I've got rhythm. Go back to that one and watch his legs. Not he's not even going on the beat of his own harmonica or the song happening behind it. <laughs> I know I was joking than around. I thought though. But I think there is a chance just that if I, if I got time in a couple, you know, if I have a weekend off the road, I might just follow Feld Dog around. See where he goes. <laughs> well, now you got, you, you know what you can do? You go, yeah, I don't, I don't mess around with those bonfire uh, yeah. guys anymore. I'm reformed. Yeah, I don't, he's going to be your fish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, who wrote, he kind of slays the harmonica, though? <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> that's he's the very first around. one. I go, guys. That's Angel he, 338. Go, he did it in a Millennium Falcon into <laughs> What's Up With The Youth. It would have made you shit. <laughs> yeah. The bridge was harmonica. <laughs> And dance. First time since Indianapolis. Watch yeah. 14. <laughs> Another three and a half hour. Look at it. He, this person writes, he kind of slays the harmonica. So please. Same intro. We're going we're gonna to get brought back to right where we were. Yeah, jump ahead to when he, they all walk out. With their fucking I want to see what kind flags. of attitude they walk out with the flight. I want to see where the I cartoon goes. I would do a three-hour drive. 
I think that's fair. I would drive to see that. the dog. Yeah, to see oh, so would I. No you know way. you can have three hours of conversation on the way home. <laughs> yeah. You're going to stay awake. Yeah, and then an extra the first, hour. The first hours, everyone's going like, what was that? <laughs> Did the rings? The rings on the ceiling? <laughs> who, who, are, who are up there? Everyone's got to gather. <laughs> he walks out. So much dead. He's like small dead wonder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got the harmonica ready. Guy's hoodie up. He's like, let's fucking do this. The band just has to wait for him to get into his stance. <laughs> this is such an awkward opening. I can't wait by my sixth show where I know where it goes. He seems wearing chain mail. Yeah. Yeah. In case he's attacked. Yeah, what if he gets by, jousted? Yeah, what if, Vikings? What if someone <laughs> takes a broadsword to his head? Yeah. You see a guy coming through. Uh, yeah. uh, you see already see the guy on the horse coming through with a joust. It's too late. Yeah. And those those pants are leather, so they're slick. You can't grab onto them. Everything is tactical on well, here. Wait, 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 wait. Back up, back up, back Everything up. Everything is back tactical. Because he is doing a particularly bad job singing again. <laughs> Give me some of that. Oh my Christ. Oh, he let it, he let a little, give a little. Hey, he kind of slays at the harmonica. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Damn, Andy, Andy turned. He turned me. Well, I also got, yeah, go back to that exact note. Uh, <laughs> killing I believe the, the harmonica, I believe the harmonica <laughs> is only as good as what you believe you can do into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there a proper training for the harmonica? Like there has to be because John Popper can write a, a, a leveled tiered song right. yeah. with it yeah somehow I'm familiar with the album four <laughs> <laughs> quite familiar all right him singing. <laughs> man his voice is a real punch right in the ear isn't it probably pulls you out of a drunken stupor if you're too hammered he'll just pull you back I'm gonna go see him. Yeah. I'm gonna wear a body cam like a cop. And then I'll come back with all the footage. Can I, oh, Jesus. Can I, uh, can I still stay on the payroll just as a Corey Feldman field reporter? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the Corey. I'm the Feld. Yeah, the Feld dog. Dude. I'll follow yourself. him around. I've seen I'm the Corey Spondent. Oh, I don't mind that at all. He's going to take credit for it, though. He's going to be pissed. He's all <laughs> Felt man on the street. Yeah, I love the subtle Jacob laugh. <laughs> TikTok really has some great footage. Uh, I don't remember when I did that. Did you, yeah, did you not like AI? Because this is an AI laugh. Oh, is that what <laughs> <laughs> Makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, oh, wait. He's fell dogging out. Here's the thing about Corey this would Feldman. Be embarrassing in any capacity. <laughs> it would, but let me tell you something that I'm noticing about Corey Feldman. The more videos we watch, he is in incredible cardiovascular shape. His cardio is off the charts. If we did have to fight him, I think as long as he kept it, you know, took us into deeper, like the deep water, I think he could be a problem. No, you don't have any confidence in yourself and shit like that. I'll tell you this. Corey I, if, Feldman, if I, I would crush wreck. Him. Yeah, but if I don't wreck him in the first two minutes, I am grabbing it. I don't minutes, know. Dude, he's tiny. I, I yeah, know. but I bet he can run like the wind. That's what I mean. Well, I'm talking about running like the wind. Then we don't he could escape all of us, though. No, no. Escape all means. He's saying we end up We're having talking to one-on-one, go. fair combat. He's coming at me because he's mad about the things I've said. Physically, I don't know, this would go. That he's, would go. That would go wily. way back. He's really small, and he's do you armored. Think would, do you think it'd be? Yeah, he is armored. Do you think he'd be? <laughs> it'd be so dangerous. He has body armor. <laughs> do you he has you, chain mail on. Jay, you want to rethink right, that? You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Before I answer so quick, is he all? Is he all artilleryed up? No, <laughs> fully shelled. He's, he's coming at you. Ooh, I don't know. I might break my hand on that link. <laughs> yeah. You punch it's like king. That's, like, oh. that's just why I started wearing it. It's not for decades. Just stop punches. People. 
He goes, people, well, I, I don't know. They don't like my music. He I goes, heard Kurt, I heard I Kurt Cobain had to wear a chain mail. The fans are going to throw bottles. <laughs> I got to figure out how to make that it's work just, for me. That's his interview <laughs> process with his band. <laughs> Are you comfortable wearing chicken wire? <laughs> but I think if he got close, how Brandy to you, boys feel it. If he got close to you, <laughs> mm-hmm. do you think you would dominate so much you could do wrestling moves? Oh, oh yeah, Uh yeah, like yeah, a yeah. power bomb. I'd have to suplex. I'd have to get him little. stunned first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> work down his health. <laughs> I'd have to work his health down and stun him. I just feel like. And then when he's stunned, now, dude, you're crazy. What you're saying? I think Jacob's in the best shape <laughs> out of all of us. Undeniably, I Jacob. Might but have... Jacob's got the wonky neck. That's what I'm worried about. No, yeah, no, you're brittle. I'll go up. No, I you, think Jacob you've fucks. You've never Corey. seen me in combat, Dan. I think you're right. Jacob fucks. When I Corey snap, I snap, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm telling you that I think it would be. You're right. You, you go, go full squirrel <laughs> mode. He wouldn't recognize me. I think Jacob. I think Jacob would fuck him up for sure. But I'm saying that's the fight that's gonna look the that's gonna maybe he'll feel the most. I'm telling you, me, uh, Andy, you like for sure. The size is a major issue. There. It could be a He's really small. Yeah. He's Damn. a really tiny little guy. I just know that gas tank can go forever. <laughs> exactly. And I just mean He's puffing. Too me worried about it, dude. Puffing, being, doing a lot of these. Come here. <sighs> Buddy, you can put a hole in that tank with a fucking razor's edge if I don't you know, wanted man. to. Oh he might be boofed up on amphetamines, too. Oh, that's right. You that's know? like holding on to just a super strong. Sorry, I didn't know this was such a pussy factory. Well, it is. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's that's the advocate. Listen now. Well, you heard it here first, Corey. You could definitely beat up Andy. He believes that. And Dan's pretty sure you could tire him out and then knock him over I with a feather. If you don't, I'm telling you, out. you get too close. I'm going to rock bottom you in the first five seconds and then it's over. There you go. There you if go. I get, if I get that hand under him. Yes. Up. There you over. go. Think it. Yes. Yeah. And then there it's, you are. And then it's a plethora of moves a Boston Crab, maybe a Camel Clutch. How about you, uh, DJ Lou? What do you think? You just invite him back to your place for this a nightcap? He's going to honk a day talk. smoker. Are you he's, kidding me? He's going to honky tonk man him. Oh, yeah. Guitar over, over the head. Guitar. I could DDT him in a minute. Yeah. You think so? You are the Jake the Snake of <laughs> Bonfire. <laughs> so, Steve, before you say something crazy, you versus Corey the Feldman would beat the shit out of you, but what would you like to do if you could? What's your what's your daydream of doing to the fell dog if he comes at you? It, it's a good punch to the face always feels great. Always yeah. feels great. It always cheers up Christine when she goes to the docks and fights other women. <laughs> who just got off ships. <laughs> she's like maybe a kick right in his fell dog. Yeah, you're like a '90s action movie. He just goes to the docks and she's like, "Got to keep this blade sharp. Let me fight some lady." Christine yeah. is. He'll there. never fight Black Lou. Black Lou's got more chance of having a verse in his new song than fighting Corey Feldman. He'd be like, you want to collab, <laughs> bro? I'm about love, not hate. Let's collab. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking fell dog, dude. It goes with the song though. No, it does not. Well, the song's atrocious. It cuts so the, the, the ear. The you know, he's atrocious. saying the right thing. They're both bad. Yeah. And those bad... He's not doing the song an injustice, is what I'm saying. Right. Now, it's not that two negatives make a positive. It's these two negatives just make it like, you know, here. (laughs) Just a nice, even floor. (laughs) I don't know. He's more hard rocking than I remember. It was... Harmonica rock? What? Yeah, but like, remember the last time we saw him was more poppy. This is like a little bit more hard rocky. I think you no conf- I think you confining him. You confining him to one genre is the offensive. That's part. true. He does jump around. <laughs> There's rap songs and yeah. some of it. Uh... He does it all, Andy. Dude, I can't this wait. This has to... like a Black Crows, you know, soulful bet, rock feel. I bet I can trick Corey into letting me backstage if I wear a hat that says "Press" on it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I'll be like, "Come this way." And, and the whole exclusive show, interview. And the whole show, you hold a pen and keep doing this. You keep going. <laughs> okay. All talking right. to people next to me going. <laughs> is it all, is he on fire tonight or is it yeah. always like this? Does he bring this much magic to the stage every time he walks on it? <laughs> I hate that. The misery of the that. band is makes this show. Yeah, yeah. the so band is not the band <laughs> can't believe they, they need money this bad. Yeah, I wonder how much is, they make. That is <laughs> child support rock. <laughs> you go, hey, man, what's it like what's it like playing for uh What's it like playing for Corey Feldman? He's gonna go, dude. I got kids, man. It's, I, it's like it's a gig, a gig, man. <laughs> Jay's good. The check clears. <laughs> <laughs> he lets us watch his weird wife change. <laughs> <laughs> there's always there's just some small thing. I don't know. Yeah, he's got social security juiced. He's getting me an extra. He's getting me money already. You're under sixty five. 
<laughs> I'm gonna miss you, Corey. Oh, I'm not gonna miss you. I'm gonna see you more. I'm gonna see Corey Feldman a lot more now. Now that you're, nah. now that you're not associated. I'm gonna find out when he's around. You have to go. I'm telling you right now, I am your correspondent. Okay. <laughs> okay. That way, I, I could still send my mail here. <laughs> <laughs> Goes, hey, and I got to make a Zoom phone call every couple weeks to my PO. You guys mind if I use the John and just, uh, just hey, I'm going to crash it. out one of those call little cubbies? <laughs> um, you know I love it when you love it like that.